there were highly impressive numbers just released on Borderland 3's initial sales. They're explosive. However, these numbers actually mean many bad things for many people. How? Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy MM2K back again with another one. If you do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. I ain't too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Now, you know the deal. You know how your boy likes to do this. I like to break this up into three parts. First, I'll give you the checkup, which is the whole backdrop to the situation. I'll give you the analysis, which is what is going on right now. What do what, what we come across right now? And then lastly, I'll drop you with the prescription, okay? All right, so first and foremost, Borderlands 3 has been one of the most anticipated titles to share, if not this generation. There was, however, some controversy surrounding the game that questioned the team's focus and ability to bring the series back to critical acclaim. And some of that stuff had to relate to Randy Pitchford and the infamous thumb drive with the underage porn and just a bunch of other crazy stuff on the periphery. With that being said, numbers just released for the game show that at least as sales performance is considered, the game is a smash hit, all right? Now, why do I say that? Let me show y'all something over here, all right? We, we, we're gonna switch panels just for a second here. Let's see that? It's my homie, Daniel Ahmad. He just don't know he's my homie. <laughs> no, that's the homie, Z Huge, as he's known on Twitter, right? He dropped some numbers earlier today. And in this tweet, Z Huge says, Borderlands 3 has sold um, in 5 million copies after its first five days of launch, making Borderlands 3 the fastest selling title in 2K history. And the highest selling title for the label on PC. I want to show y'all something as well, though. Uh, let's see here. Also, Borderlands 3 marks the second highest percentage of digital sales for cross-platform, cross-distribution title, and more than 70% of the consumer purchasing the game digitally in its first five days of release. In addition, Borderlands 3 delivered the highest pre-order sales figures to date for a 2K title, as well as broke pre-order records with the Epic Game Store. Mm. Initial sales of Borderlands 3 have exceeded the label's expectations, and in particular, PC sales of the title or through Epic Games Store have been incredibly strong, all right? So, a lot of good stuff right there, right? Impressive numbers and reason for Gearbox and take two to celebrate. Even though I just read you Epic Games Store stuff, why not Epic Games Store 2, MM2K? Well, we'll get into that. However, this seemingly good news causes a whole heck of issues and questions for anyone else involved, including Epic Games Store. Now on for the prescription, all right? There's several takeaways people are already overlooking and they can't lose sight of these things, mainly for gamers and more notably, the Epic Games Store. I'm gonna show y'all something, man. Something I had to, a little dose I had to drop on Twitter today, you know what I'm saying? Before I came live or, or, or recorded this video, right? And, I, and, and the little dose, the little trinket of, of medication I gave was, I see a lot of Mensa candidates equating high PC numbers for Borderlands 3 as a vindication for the Epic Game Store experience. For you geniuses though, who think release sales and experience slash appeasement are synonymous, I got one word for you, Anthem. Video forthcoming. <laughs> and here we are now. All right, so here's the deal, man. Here's the deal. Secondly, besides that, besides people just jumping out the window and think this vindicates Epic Games Store when it doesn't, you also got to think of this. The PC numbers, though expected to be bigger at launch, are bigger than what most of us anticipated. That's why I read them to y'all. You know what I'm saying? The biggest release, I believe, is said, let's go back to that, man. What's it say here? It says, uh, in addition, Borderlands 3 delivered the highest pre-order sales figures today for UK uh, for a 2K title, as well as broke pre-order records with the Epic Game Store. Initial sales of Borderlands 3 have exceeded the label's expectations, and in particular, PC sales of the title through the Epic Game Store have been incredibly strong. 
So it was doing a lot better than even your boy anticipated, even though I knew it was gonna do well. That was never the question for me. So that means that if you think about it, way more people suffered through the cloud save debacle than originally realized. Now, what was that cloud save debacle? People are losing dozens and dozens of hours on PC of their cloud saves via the Epic Game Store. You know, that feature that everybody was capping for them for and said would be completely rolled out and would be making game gaming greater because of the Epic Game Store and saving us from Steam. Woohoo! Right? Nah, nah, Chief. It's killing the game. And people are losing game progression after start all the way back from the beginning. That's horrible, man. That sucks. You know what I mean? Hence why the Borderlands 3 hate has been massive as of the last week of this recording. I was over the whole Epic Games Store Borderlands 3 thing. I got me a copy on Xbox One for review. I've been playing that, and as y'all know, if you've been following your boy on twitch.tv forward slash mighty much 2000, you know what I'm saying? If you've been following me there, you see I'm having so much fun with the game. I'm enjoying it, right? So I was over this thing, but this hit me in the face because it's been so prominent. So here's what we need to think of. Until this experience changes, Releases of how well Gearbox and 2K profited off of this mess. It won't change that whole motif. It won't change the backlash, okay? So let's keep things in proper pers uh, proper perspective. Lastly, for Epic, that officially means with all these high numbers and, and all this most sales this and biggest pre-orders that, there is no longer any excuse for their RPG menu screen of a feature milestone chart remains to look stagnant. Now, what do I mean by that? <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Let me show you Exhibit C. This right here via Trello.com is something that Epic had to put out there as far as just supplying basic features for its storefront because they were already getting backlash when Metro, another big anticipated game this year, was released and it was lackluster on the store, right? Or the experience at least was lackluster on the store. All right, so they gave you, you know what I'm saying, miles. They, they gave you milestones of when things are gonna be implemented. Now they're showing you the recently shipped stuff, you know, the improved patch sizes and all this other stuff. They show you what's up next and then they show you the future development. But if you look at what's recently shipped with all these color-coded charts looking like Fantasy Star 2, right? A menu screen off of there. There's something interesting. You know what's supposed to be shipped and ready to go? Let's see if we can find it. Oh, look at this, cloud saves. It's in the ship column, like it's completed, been tested, and it's working well. And we know via Borderlands 3, the biggest game this year to date, pretty much in, in a lot of regards, if not one of the biggest games this generation, we see how much of a colossal failure it is. It's all over the internet. You can't escape it, all right? So. Here, here, here's my thing, man. Here's my thing. What I mean, as far as this chart, needs to show more and more and better progress than what we're dealing with here. Just seeing pictures and collages of shapes and colors don't mean nothing to your boy, particularly the people that are suffering through this on PC, okay? What I mean is the progress chart for these basic PC store features needs updated and it needs updated fast. Let's go back to it. See all this stuff over here up next, future development. No more excuse now, you got all this paper now, right? What I mean is that this stuff needs updated and updated fast with all this newfound wealth that they apparently have from the success of Borderlands 3 on PC via the Epic Games Store. We need to see 90% completion in the next three months. So 90% of all this jazz out here, it needs to be done in the next three months. No excuse, no excuse. When Metro launched, all this stuff should have been done. They got all that Fortnite money, there is no excuse. And as far as I'm concerned, and I'm pretty sure for, as far as many of us in the gaming community are concerned that had that had to suffer through this, we need to see 100% completion in five months, all right? So Epic, Tim, Tim uh, Swindle, <laughs> AKA Tim Sweeney, Tim Swindle, you better get back to showing target dates again. What do I mean by that? Oh, boom, this. Epic revamped the Epic Game Store roadmap to remove target months. 
The roadmap now shows what has recently been added to the store, what's being developed now, and what's further away. So this little thing that they put out here to appease people, they already started truncating stuff from it. Unacceptable. We need to see all this jazz, all these shapes and colors under this column right here within six, within five months. And in six months, we need to see more innovative ideas that enhance the user experience rolled out ASAP. Look, man, I wanna do this. With all my hollering and screaming and spitting all over my pop filter, I wanna take this time to congratulate Gearbox and take two, right? I even had my doubts. You know, I put my video out there where I was doubting the game, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the game seems great earlier on and follow your boy again on twitch.tv forward slash mighty most 2000 where I will be doing um, continuous gameplay and quote unquote diary entries where I give my take on how I feel about the game at the time uh, of a series of, of playthroughs. You know what I'm saying? But the game seems great earlier on like I said. That said, Epic Stores Tim Sweeney aka Tim Swindle Let's see if you guys were truly just some bumbling, closed-minded goose who were just unaware on how to handle consumer engagement, you know, how you wanted us to believe, or if you really, really are the money-grabbing, two-timing old salesman who swindle PUBG out of their formula simply because they use your engine, all right, that we know you are. The next three months will tell a lot. And trust me, your boy will not let up either way. And with that said, that's it from your boy, mm 2 k Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below because who cares what I think, all right? And if you did like what I had to say, check me on the corner of the boulevard, you know what I'm saying? Follow the links below to find me. I do a show, Scram Punks, with your peoples. We do it every Wednesday, 8, uh, 10.30, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I believe we're, we're, we're moving the time frame. So just look at hashtag ScramPunks for more information on that. Follow my, my brethren, the Broadband Bullies, and follow us doing the Best Damn Podcast. All the links are below. And last but not least, follow me on the Hard Knock Digital Culture, which is at twitch.tv forward slash MightyMost2000. You can also follow us live at hndc.live, all right, for all the hardcore content. And with that said, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.